Hello everybody and welcome back to more Voidigo. We are back once again, jumping in for another run, and I actually unfortunately cut off the episode last time a little bit early. We unlocked something new right after. We unlocked whatever the hell this is. Um, I have absolutely no idea, um, but yeah, we unlocked this thing, and there's like all these crystals that we need to like do something with. It says find out more. While on a run, get 20 kills with a weapon to unlock its essence. Um, while on a run, defeat a boss to unlock its essence. And while on a run, survive the void to unlock your character's essence. And fully upgrade a power up to unlock its essence. Okay, interesting. We'll have to see how this works. But anyways, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard now. I kind of asked in the last episode what people recommended. People said it's very much up to you. But I thought I haven't tried it on... Um, on control, uh, sorry, I've tried it on control, but I haven't tried it on PC controls, keyboard and mouse yet, so why not? I'm gonna try and save up for one of these, by the way. Um, I realize that there's more stuff in the tent and stuff, but all of these are 12, one of them's 8, so I'll try and see what we can get by the end of the run. But anyways, let's just jump in for another run. Um, people have been giving me great tips, so thank you all in the comments for letting me know. Some people have suggested going back to you, um, to the regular difficulty rather than going with um, Rogue, but I really want to, I'd rather start out hard um, and have the extra difficulties at like intense, brutal, and impossible to go at rather than starting on the easier ones. So Rogue is, is where I want to start off at. I'd rather get used to the harder difficulties. I prefer harder games. I've only played a few runs so far, so things might seem difficult right now, but I'm sure as I get my footing um, and understand the game more, then it'll come to us. Glam like creatures licking the ground. Glam like These fall creatures. Better than most of us. But yeah, I'm hoping that with uh, playing on controller, I might be able to do a little bit more in terms of like movement and stuff. So I have this thing floating around that says 20 here. I'm guessing that's part of the essence thing that I was just looking at. Uh, I would assume at least. And um, we'll, we'll see what we can do with that. Some more fellas here. Okay. Boom. Apparently you can only combo... Um, like stomps between multiple enemies, you can't com like you can't keep stomping the same enemy over and over. So that's something that is worth noting. So thank you for letting me know that. Got a loot vortex here. We got ourselves the boring bazooka. Boring bazooka, you say? What we're going on here? Nice few of them. Ooh, what what happened over here? Something like dug through a bit there. So a bazooka sounds like a lot of fun. We'll give this a go. It's also got good ammo too, which is nice. Um, whatever these things are. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Can I hurt myself with these explosions? I don't know. So far, this thing seems kind of amazing. I'm sure I don't want to waste the ammo too much, but yeah. Crack that open. Okay, dokey. Right, anything more on this area? I, by the way, people were saying to just sprint through everything to destroy it all, so that's what I'm going to do from now on, or at least try to if I remember. But yeah, I'm liking the bazooka. I, I probably don't want to use all the ammo on it though, um, as I'm sure it's one of those guns that's going to be good for the bosses. What I need to remember to do as, as well is, like, you can't fire properly while you're uh, sprinting, and I keep sprinting into enemies. Okay, good. Oh, God. It is stressful playing this game, though, I will say. Especially with things like this that have slow fire rate. Nice. And crack all these open. We got one of the nests over here. Oh, oh, okay. Here's the boss. I was like, "What the hell's this?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, that's that's kind of what happens when when there's a boss." Okay. We can fight some of the boss now. Actually, we can fight quite a lot of the boss now. Apparently, uh, really jumping on bosses isn't really worth it, apart from activating boot items and um, getting some eye frames. So I need to kind of remember that. Okay, so you're gonna create a bunch of these. This is doing really good damage. I 
I'm guessing you're gonna get the hell out of here soon. But yeah, we can keep a, a really good range with this thing. By the way, I am so far I am actually liking the PC controls more. Okay, so you, you've managed to go away now. Go back to the uh, the breach, yeah. Just, I, it's more so, it's not that it's like smoother, I think the controller controls are actually really good. It's more so that I'm just more familiar and it's like a bit easier to understand. Your movement is locked to a grid. Um, defeat enemies, combust into fire projectiles, and then skip challenge. So, why is it not telling me what item this is? Why, why does it tell me what this is, but it doesn't tell me what this is? I'm gonna try it. Why not? Oh, this is cool. Oh, some of these challenges are kind of ace. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. I really, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking the way that this grid movement works. <laughs> it feels so janky, but it's like, it's a really good challenge modifier, to be honest. I realize I'm wasting ammo here on uh, things I don't need to, but it's fine. Yeah, I want to see whatever the hell this is. I've got to remember as well, these challenge rooms are really worth it because they give you something extra at the end as well as the actual, like, listed reward. Nice, got seven left on that. Oh my god. Nice one. Okay, so... We got that key there. We get ourselves the normal snake. Oh, the normal, it's a gun. That's why it didn't list. Got the normal snake here. Um, and then, yeah, we got this thing over here. So, anti-void attack on reload during battle. Rat attack on stomp. And bullets become homing orbs. That sounds really good. Okay, one moment. I'm just going to have to pause. Apologies, we are back. Let's continue on. What was we doing again? Okay, so we just picked up um, this item here. Let's take a look at what exactly this does. Um, orb technology was first discovered by Cam Karkmas? Karkmas when he created a quantum orb structure to guide the potato chips to his mouth. Dr. Fusion did future research on the matter and ended up buying the patent, later releasing it as a commercial success um, orb bullet lotion. Said in an interview that he regrets selling the patent, but respects uh, Dr. Fusion's unconventional ways of doing rad science. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that's just a chance for Herming if I was to... If I was to think about it like that, I'm gonna guess it's just like a chance, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's uh, keep moving on. Oh, it brings out a gun out here as well. Okay, so... You are nearly dead, but I can't fully kill you yet. So let's just keep getting you down as far as we can, and then let's uh, let's head out of here. Let's keep her going. Okay, so this is weird. Okay, this is terrible. I can't tell if the gun's terrible or the herming's terrible. Slightly confusing. Oh, wait a minute. We've got, um, one sec. Back through here. I don't know if you're still here, Mr. Boss Man, but I don't much care. We should try and get six more kills with this thing, to be honest, to finish off the, uh, finish off the, what's it called? The, like, story of it, whatever you want to call it, the, the progression. Okay, he's in here. I don't really care for you right now. It's five. It's four. Boss man, I, I don't I don't much care for you right now. Good. Three, two, one, and last one. Okay, there you go. So now we've got this leveled up. Pick up Weapon Essence. 
Oh. Weapon essence get. So does that make the weapon better? Maybe? I think... So I think basically I hold and then I fire. Uh, so yeah, I hold the, the homing and then I fire it. So if I just tap you, it's not very good. But if I like hold it and then release it, it's pretty good. Oh, I need to step on the, the button to get out. Where is it? There it is. Last portion of his health has been unlocked. I don't even know where he's gone. But you're back over there. Right, let me recycle this weapon first, my guy. I don't know if recycling it with no ammo yields less results. We got ourselves the Extend Dog. Oh my lord. It's a dog accordion. This is amazing. What the hell is this game? So I'm guessing this class is a melee weapon. Let's use this for a little bit because this seems like hella fun. We've not even seen our shop yet. I'm guessing that's going to be here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, hello. Accept baby fetch quest. I, I, love the, I love the way it just calls it a fetch quest. Why not? Oh, we got little carriages. Okay. So we're on a fetch quest now. Are these babies going to be in rooms I've already been to, or are they only going to be in new rooms? Is this going to span over multiple floors? I don't know. Oh my god. Jump on this real quick. Why not? Okay, so you're into your thingy form now. Ultra form, whatever you want to call it. I think these forms always have less health. This weapon's amazing, by the way. Like, fighting this guy at range like this is doing a real good job for us. You are out of here, my guy. Big dead. So, does taking health while we have full health do much? Okay, we got a boss essence here as well. Capture you. Boss essence get. I think that's meant to say got, right? You'd think. Um, break jar. To gain zero durability. Okay, and then break jar to gain ammo. I see. Just gain the ammo. Uh, we got beacon power, bigger clip, and expanded block. I'm going to take the bigger clip, I think. Double the clip of this. Um, do I, do I want to keep the extend dog? It seems cute, but like, is it necessary for us to keep? Let's go to this room down here first, and then we'll... See about going to the shop. Teleport to the world end portal. Oh, that's a nice little feature. <laughs> okay, the extend dog is funny, but I don't really think it's like that good compared to the other weapon I had. If, you're, if used correctly. Pretty cute though. Right, let's go back to the shop. <laughs> it's so cool though. What a great item. Right. Oh, I see. I put health in these bassinet things. I see. Okay, wait. Do I have to complete that, this this floor? Because if I do, can't I like... Wait, wait a whole minute. Wait a whole ass minute here. How many, how many health jars can I buy from this? Can I buy more than one? I don't know. Let me let me go back to the shop first. It's going to be a slow floor here, but I'm figuring things out, so... <laughs> this goddamn extend dog is so fucking funny. I love this. This game's wacky as shit. 
There's our snake thing. We'll take our snake thing for now because I think that's going to work better for us. I like the fact that it shows you which, like, which ammo is the extended clip. So can I hand these guys in now? No, I have to give you the full amount. I think I've, I think I've bungled this a little bit by being, it being so late. Faster movement speed, increase max ammo. Um, direct bullets to last stomp. I don't know what that means. Um, faster sprint speed. Laser on block. Hit the jackpot. Power up gamble. The power up gamble was pretty good last time, if I remember correctly. Sell normal steak for 20 shards. Ooh, can we sell our dog? It's a lot of it's a lot of fucking around here, but I gotta figure this out. <laughs> I feel a bit bad selling the dog, but hey her. Oh, I have to sell the snake. Okay. I guess it's probably better to sell the snake then and keep the dog. Like, normal snake is good, but it's like 20 shards is 20 shards, my dude. Amazing. Right, so let's grab increased max ammo. I really like the idea of that. That's a pretty big boost as well. Um, let's go with a power-up jackpot. Pyrosol. Pyrosol is going to be... These are attached to your boots to make them burn whoever they stomp. Okay, burning stomp, I like that. So, is it worth me going back and buying the more HP, or is it, do I just not have enough now to make this work? I think, unfortunately for you, last uh, little old woman we're going to call you, but I don't have enough. Right. Let's go back, get our uh, get our doggy back, and let's just let's just leave. Into the portal we go. Okay, that floor went really well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The fetch quest carries on. Okay, the fetch quest carries on. Don't have enough chance to feed you. Sacrifice power for maximum HP. No, thank you. Trade weapon for power up. Burn boots were real good last time. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'd have to trade my rocket launcher. There's no way I'm doing that. Right, I think we're outie then. Sten dog, do me well. I still really love this anti-void area. Such a cool, like, addition to the game. Like, I didn't need to have that at all. Okay, so you're here now, I see. Built by the porkles can be found scattered throughout this region. Thinking sheds, they call them. If a porko stray from the horde, they are locked. Okay. Until they shed their so we do have a shop here, very close to spawn. We've got something going on here. So burning is obviously really good here. Here, get dogged on. What's this? What's going on here? Sacrifice max health for three random bundles. Hell yes. Why is the damage here? Electricity go away. Um, did it destroy one of my items when it did that? 25% more. 10% fa uh, fast. 150% faster herming even. That's a lot of herming. Um, I'm going to go with the even more max ammo. Awesome. And then we got even bigger clips as well. I, I want to I go for all of this. And then here we've got Bullets travel towards the direction you point. It's pretty good. A stompable electricity buttons. Water bullet chance. I don't know what water bullets do, but let's give them a go. Power up. Might not do much on its own, but could yield interesting results when combined with other elements. Okay, I see. It's a basic item that has synergy. Y'all know I like those. By the way, someone told me if I see like a shrine with a green chest, I want to be like looking out for that. What we're going on here. 
hurt yourself. Um, not right now, thanks. All the noises things make. There's a lot going on right now. Oh, you absolute fool. Okay, that didn't... One problem here is I didn't heal myself there at all. I just filled them bassinets. So I'm in a, a complete danger zone right now. Dude, these burn firing guys? Okay, that's the chest that I was talking about earlier. Okay, that's actually HP good. The, the, the doggy is kind of hard to use, I'll be honest. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, we opened up the chest. Just giving us a lot of HP. Water sprint during combat. Oh, does it cost? That costed us 20, okay. That was probably not worth it. But, oh well, whatever. Okay. Let's go back to our bassinet baby boy thingy. Our ghost mum. Another one of them going. Dude, the, the, the burn firing guys are crazy annoying. Get out of here. Oh my god, that was such a big hit. Oh, really? I don't... Not, not at all what I was hoping for. I'm getting the hell out of this room. Goodbye. Not ready for a boss at all. I'm gonna go go back and get that, that HP that was up here. Thank you. My goodness. Big scaries going on right now. Big scaries. And let's see what we get for handing in all the children. So we get ourselves max HP. Awesome. And then I think this is, yeah, this is max. So I think I can leave that there for now. That's max HP and durability. Uh, and ammo as well. It's like max everything. Throw his weapon for power up. Nice. Got a shed here. Sorry, but no. Faster melee attack. Nah, we don't really care about that. Those burn boys. They scare me. Oh, God. Hey, I got my weapon essence here. Still don't really know what that means, but I'm guessing it's some sort of level up for the weapon. I need to kill this little shit. This guy's not taking an awful lot of damage. It's a Tetris gun. It's actually pretty good. Okay, you've pissed off now, good. Um, I'm gonna buy some HP here just in case. I don't know even know why I did that. I've got a full heal back there, but I'd rather save the full heal for when I'm also low on ammo, to be honest.
Dude, the boss is here again. Fuck you. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know the boss was here. Focus on taking out the boss now. So much going on. I, I like it's so chaotic. I kind of love it. The hell are you? Oh, you are the boss. I was like, what the fuck's that thing? It's the boss. Okay, we've locked the boss off again. More ammo. Good. Good. Got another shed here. To check it out. This is a weapon sacrifice. Honestly, this thing is good, but I'd rather recycle. We got a new gun anyways. Igniter. Cool, cool. Right, where are we looking now? Boss is over there. So boss is killable now, but we've got to remember there's a second phase. I'd rather do my other rooms first, I think. Check out our shop real quick. Sell... Oh, no. Nah. 50 shards, but, it, it, like, it's a good item. I want to keep it. Um, melee weapons burn enemies. Exploding frog bullets. Even bigger clip. Yes, please. I will come back for the frog. And what, what, what's this? Trade the bazooka for full heal. Okay, nah. It's good, but not useful for us right now. If it was the other weapon, then maybe, but... Right. We should get some health and ammo from just breaking stuff in here, I'd reckon. Oh, wait. Okay, no, the boss isn't in here. It's just a, a thing that looks like the boss. Nice. Some eggs there that I just... Angered. I've set all these bears on fire now. Is that my terrible human being? Is that what I've done? I feel like I did something evil there. Uh, where's my dog gun? Dog gun's up this way. I'm gonna go get my dog gun and recycle it. Feels like there is a, definitely a bit of backtracking and back and forth in this game, but it's kind of necessary. The game's hard. Definitely feeling uh, keyboard and mouse being better though, totally. Sorry dog, <laughs> I've crushed you into pulp. I really apologise. Ah, oh, come on, it just gave me ammo. I don't need ammo. I'll come back for my other gun. I'll choose this one for now. What's going on here? Um, sacrifice power up for maximum HP. Do you know what? What's what's this little water beady boy do anyways? Like I don't I don't really care about him. I'm gonna do it. I think maximum HP is far more valuable. Oh I got. I can't believe this thing has a four magazine now. It's fucking crazy. Challenge room here. Weapon or 20 shards. The area will have magma babies, thunder, and um, magflies will emerge constantly. Give it a go, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Uh, what the fuck? Um, I got, like, thrown, then. What was that about?
The biggest problem right now is I have hurling and it keeps hurling onto the wrong goddamn enemies. Oh, bollocks. Okay, we all good? That wasn't so bad at all. Wasn't so bad at all. Uh, we get ourselves dodging spikes, melee bullets, and melee bullet sounds fun. I'm going to guess that is pretty much exactly as it sounds. Punch, slice, and stab bullets into existence. Um, surely must be some sort of... Okay, it's not actually what I thought. I thought I'd do a melee swing, my bullets hit, but it's when I do a melee swing, I spawn bullets, which is also pretty good. Right, out we go. Then quickly go and get this ammo real quick. Thank you. Get quite a lot of ammo in one in one like thing, especially for a gun like this. Bears are still really angry at me. I apologize. Does this skull have any precedence here? It's a skull of the boss I thought fought last time, so I don't know if it means anything. Oh, it did just spawn an enemy. Not a fan of that. Oh my god, there's so much going on here. Dude, the herming is so janky sometimes. Oh no, he just knocks back my bullets, I see. It's not actually the herming that did that. Okay, when he's got his shield up, I can't do much to him, I guess. I think we're all good with this room now. Funky smelly cave. Always do a sharp turn to avoid walls. Low gravity. Because it's a chest. Oh, that's fun. I really, I'm really loving these uh, challenges. Okay, don't try and stomp on enemies with low gravity. It's going to take forever to land, you goof. Apart from this enemy, I will stomp on him because he's annoying otherwise. Dude, the herming. Stop going for the wrong enemy. Oh my god, it's so unreliable. It's, it's very, very annoying. Stop knocking my shit back. So we got ourselves um, banana attack on reload during combat. Spooks. Spooks to shoot faster. Is he a friend that I keep with me? Yes, he is. I love that. And then here we've got faster bullets and longer range. Really good. Some a button that reverses enemy bullets and cheat death once. Oh, hell yes. I'm going to guess that's be be it being red. It's like a legendary. I don't know what the highest rarity is, but red's probably pretty good. Right. Let's get going. So, the question is, do I want to take my little buff boy? And get full ammo. I can, I can always come back for it later, so let's do the boss first and then come back. Let's go fight the boss. What a noise. Ah, dude! I just chased the boss and it fucking somehow ran past me. Ugh. This this is the one thing I'm I'm not a huge fan of with the game. Once I feel like once everything else is done, I like the boss moving, but once everything else is done, the boss should just stay put and take its beating. I don't want to play chase with it constantly. Dude, the fact th this this thing so it's like so rapid fire it's crazy. Please don't tell me you just escaped with that much health. Okay, no, you didn't. Good.
Will this be enough ammo to kill you is the question. I think it will. Okay. This has limited range. Just wasted a bunch of ammo not knowing that. <laughs> Stay away. Ah! Okay, he gave me more ammo. I love the fact that he give you ammo and health throughout the fight. Makes it way more insane than Enter the Gungeon, where it's just like, Oh, you've run out of ammo? Well, good for you. Fun. Yeah, like, this... Dude, you're like so close to dead. Don't don't run. It's, it's pain in the ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is just me having to run all the way across the map for literally no reason. Just to stomp on his ass anyways. Definitely getting a bit more used to the bosses now. How do I stop burning? Or is that just accept my fate sort of status? Okay, we're good. We got him. A tricky boy, but we got him. We get another boss essence off of this guy. Boss essence, get. Even more bigger. Why is my map showing up here? What's up with that? Can it like go away? Am, am I have, have I pressed a button that's doing that? No, I don't think so. Right, let me go and get my little buff boy. Wherever it is. I should honestly take this as well because I'm kind of forgot about it. Right. Little buff boy. Little buff boy. Right, to the next floor. Hazard, this run's going extremely well so far. I am liking it. And then in here, what we got going on? So we got you to feed. I didn't actually uh, buy anything else from the shop on that last floor. That's my bad. I probably should have done. Let's, let's pay into this guy. We've got so much money here. We can afford a few. Oh, really? More? Oh, dude. This guy is taking a lot. He better give me a lot. The goob glove. Tompable grave buttons appear. Two HPs that we can't use. And the goob glove. Okay, that seems cool. I like it. Um, bullet penetration seems really good. Although with rockets, maybe not so good. Ah. Okay, we're out. Yeah, we're out. We're out. Yeah, I guess I don't want to neglect melee, so I'm going to try out this goob glove because it's a melee weapon. I want to try and give him a, a, a decent, a decent chance. The pine crows be oh shit! That no way. That's so cool. All the stuff comes with me. Okay, I fucking love that. They had, they didn't need to do that at all. That's so goddamn good. I'm gonna try out the Google for a little bit, but I'll come back for that. Yeah, they had no, no need to do that. That's absolutely amazing. This thing seems pretty darn good. I'm not sure what the like little things it leaves around are, but I like them. <clears throat> that guy got smushed. Obviously it's slow firing, a lot of the stronger melee weapons seem to be.
But yeah, I'm not sure what all the things that appears are, like, they're doing for me, but I'll accept them nonetheless. Dude, this is... <laughs> this has gotten wacky. Um, loot Corrupted Vortex, hell yes. Trade... Okay, I'm gonna guess that's a weapon and that's max HP trade. I think I'll be alright, thank you. Sorry to have set you on fire, little birdie. I'm gonna do it again, though. I'm not really sorry, I lied. I'm a bastard, man. Right, keep it moving. Keep it moving and grooving. Oh shit, that's an enemy. That's two enemies. Alrighty then. Don't like you being sort of out of bounds there. That's kind of weird, but oh well. Okay, so far, really like this weapon. Seems to be killing stuff pretty darn quickly. Oh, I see you again, little magic man. Jump on that real quick. Jump on you two. Got you both as a gnome. Ugh. Ugh. Whoa! Oh my god. That have, like that that went through so many sort of cycles of being like, what the fuck? Okay. Just figured out. This um This melee weapon, hot trash against this guy. Okay, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here before I die. Oops. <laughs> yeah, melee weapon, that was that was hot trash against that guy. Let's, let's do some, some more of the floor before we, uh... Oh, it has no ammo. It wasn't hot trash. It just wasn't actually firing. That makes more sense. Okay, so... The rocket does pierce, but it explodes as it pierces. Could you not, like, chase after me while I'm trying to figure out the rooms here, please? Not excited by the prospects of that. Thank you. Oh, fuck you. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell's going on right now. There's a lot more going on than I'd like. Th this floor's bosses seem a lot harder. Okay, is he buggered off? No, he's not. Oh, no, now he has. Now he has. Ooh, that was scary. Um, bullet target link. Close up camera. We can deal with that. Would like some more ammo though, I will say. Oh, that that they're fucking things shooting me. Oh what the fuck? What's shooting those? Is it this tree? It's these little mage things here. Oh my god, this is this close-up camera bullshit is is actually very bad. Is this tree firing at me? Hard to figure out, but I think it was. My dude. Oh my god. Whatever the fuck these projectiles are, I hate them. How is it not over yet? How is this room not over yet? Okay, stressful room. Don't know what bullet target link does, but I like the sound of it. 
bomb boot attack on Stomp. I mean, it's red, so it must be good. Um, Power-ups. Bullet target link. Um, Alan Gloob designed his sophisticated technology to allow swift and effortless navigation for his official blog page. He later realized it could be used for effective school-to-school uh, -school bullet navigation. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Right, um... Keep it moving. I'd like ammo, please, game. Like a lot and a lot of ammo. <laughs> I'm running out. It's this way. Oh, what the fuck? I like place to be in the middle of the room this time. Oh, wait, I see. It's because I was doing a challenge. My bad. I forgot about that. Hello there. Okay, what we got going on here? Um, more bullets. Oh, trade. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to trade. Oh, God, no. That was almost bad. Back up to full HP, though. That's nice. I like that. Shop time. What you got for a shop? Hello. Hello. One more link. 150% faster homing. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? That's 20. That's 15. I'll take that. Why not? The burning's been pretty good. We've got this little knight thing here, too. 30. Yeah. I, I, I'm I, Honestly, the ghost, I've not really noticed it. I'm going to sell it and buy whatever this little buddy is instead. I've traded you out. I've upgraded you for a protective friend. I like the idea of some protection. Seems good to me. Right. Ammo's good. That bomb boot thing then did a, a really good job. Obviously I won't be able to use that a ton, but it is what it is. Okay, seems good. Oh, he's back again. Excuse me, that's my ammo. You managed to hit me there, but I'm going to let you get away with that one. Okay, my bomb boot is back. <laughs> that does some big damage. I can see why that's a, a red item. Okay, he's gone again. I can see why that's a red item. That did real good. Okay. Keep it moving. More HP there if we need it. Some bad damage there, but... Honestly, it's fine. There's so much HP available in this game. Like you do, you, like you do take a lot of damage, and there's a lot of things that can hurt you, and it is difficult. But the game provides you with so much like option for for how to play it. Nice, you're both dead. Ow, that was a really dumb hit there. Beautiful stuff. Like this, like there's just so much HP about. Like I'm making mistakes, but it's like constantly giving me ways to get out of trouble sort of thing. Right. Boss is up here. Like that, look at that. More HP. Oh, I, did, I just bomb booted both of those guys. You are absolutely creamed. Right, get a bazooka out. A uh, boss, where are you moving? Are you moving to us? 
No, you're moving across one, I said. Okay. And then down one. Are you residing in here, boy? Yes, you are. This guy does shield and bounce our bullets back on occasion, so we've got to be ready for that, too. Dude. Our rockets aren't doing much damage. I'm not sure if that's because we've got piercing or not. I think it might be because I've got piercing, you know. Like, when I'm standing at a distance, I get more explosions. Also, let's uh, bomb boot the hell out of him. I have so much damage if I sit at range. This guy keeps freezing himself on stuff. Kind of dumb, wouldn't you say? Okay, he is into his second phase now. Okay, he's buggered off. I keep forgetting he's, he moves on his second phase. Where has he gone now? Am I have to chase him far? Not by the looks of it. Whoa, this guy looks crazy. Oh my god, he is crazy. Holy fuck. Oh, I did a lot of damage there, though. Bomb boot is back. No, I just want the HP. I just want the HP. Thank you. I, I lost HP trying to get the HP. That's not how I should be playing this game right now. Okay. We got him. We got him. Another boss's essence collected. Can I drop items? Because I can't. I kind of want to drop the piercing. Definitely take the bomb boot upgrade. Let's have a little look. See power ups. I don't think I can drop them unless I trade them away. Like I get the opportunity to trade them. Which one is it that's giving me the herming again? Oh, it's piercing. Sorry, it's this one, isn't it? Bullet penetration. Yeah. I've just got to look for an opportunity to get rid of that, I guess. Right, I think we're just good to go on this floor. Run's getting quite long, so I'm imagining we're near the end. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Trade Curious Chalice for an upgrade. Um... Wait, no. Trade for Curious Chalice upgrade. No, hell no. I don't want to upgrade my... Cu no. Wrong way around, game. Wrong way around. Trade power up for power up. Oh, there you go. This is what I want. Bullet glitch back. Bullet glitch back. Ultra rare. Lotion will show you bullets that are, in fact, living um, in an intricate and advanced simulation. The bullet might choose to use this to their advantage. We'll see. The descriptions are a little more cryptic than I'd like. I'd like it if it just told you what things did, but we'll figure it out. We are good to go. Right, I'm going to guess this is the last floor. There's only one way I can go, actually, so I'm going to guess it's like the final boss. Maybe? Hmm. Yeah, whatever that is, I killed it. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, we got a boss. Oh, we got a lot of bosses. What the fuck? The fuck's going on here? Oh my god! This is all the bosses I've fought at once. I saw one of the other bosses there. What the fuck? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. This is so overwhelming. I'm doing like no damage as well, which is just fantastic. I've done like no damage so far. This is ridiculously overwhelming. I have absolutely no idea what's going on right now. Why am I dealing like no damage? Is this the glitch thing? Is the glitch thing screwing me over? What the act? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I've got this contract of death thingy. I think this bullet glitch back thing is buggering up my launcher. So I'm guessing I can't stand in one play for too long, otherwise I just die. But I'm not like, I'm, I feel like I'm doing like fucking no damage here. Okay, there you go. My stomp did quite a bit. crazy. You have to fight all the bosses at once. How the fuck am I meant to live through this? It's like, should I be going for a specific boss first? Can I go back the way I came? I can, okay. So that boss still chases me though. Okay, they all chase me. I just realised I've got some locked off sections of the health first, so I need to go and sort that out. I, I can't even spend the time looking at that. Okay, there's another one done. been ridiculously stressful. Oh god, it's done it again. Oh, dude. This is pure- this is just- it's just a- what the actual fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck was that? Oh my lord. That is a really- insane final boss style whatever i don't even know what to call that that was just mental you silenced her loud beast interesting okay so what we got going on here so i think we want to go and do this for eight And we'll do this for 12. Nine live segments. A mosaic of unity. Be it grotesque or beautiful. That may be a new character, potentially? New character, yeah. Botanical sprouts beauty. Mm, well, and Pot Bell, the one known ugly sprout. Okay, I have no idea what this what this is. Anyways, that was insane. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, that was a lot of fun. It was a really cool run. I feel like we kind of spoiled ourselves at the end with some of the items we got, but hey, her anti-synergies existed is what it is. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.